Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to write JavaScript to create a plot, math curves. Uh, for example, this is a spiral. This is equal angular spiral or called log spiral. And uh, I have some example here. All these are created uh, in JavaScript. You can see they are not static images. You see, they, they are SVGs. Uh, so these are examples. Uh, Elisp. So this is one of my project. And my project is to, let me show you some, so this is my um, plan curves website. You see there are lots of very interesting curves. This is parabola, this is conic sections. Um, you know, I wrote this in around 1997. 1995 to you know 1999 basically so there are so many curves and they are written in Mathematica uh, except this this image this image is generated in Poray um, so so these curves are extremely interesting because you know you know about parabolas uh, hyperbolas ellipses you know uh, they are all these curves, uh, parabola, conic sections, you know, so-called conic sections, they include hyperbola, parabola, and elisp. They are um, they are shadows of a ball, of a of a sphere. As you can see, the red point is a light source, and you shine if you shine a red red, uh, red uh, light source above the ball, then you get elisp, a shadow. And if you sh uh, move the light point below the ball, you get uh, hyperbola. And if the light point is just at the same level as the ball, the top of the ball, what you get is elis uh, eli uh, not uh, a parabola. So, so above the ball, elisp. Under the ball, below the top of the ball, hyperbola. And on the same level, uh, parabola. So they are also uh, conic sections. Uh, anyway, so these curves are extremely, so many very interesting properties. Uh, um, yeah, so I wrote them, these are written in Mathematica. You can see, for example, I still have Mathematica notebooks. Uh, you can download, uh, yeah, on the web. And they are pretty old. They are like ten years old. Uh, some of them may have been updated a little bit, but I, have, I haven't been coding Mathematica for a long time. But anyway, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, do this in JavaScript. You see, this project I'm going to, I think this year, 2019, I'm going to convert them all to JavaScript. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in JavaScript. So I, I wrote some prototypes, you know, they are, um, you can see it here, I have JavaScript on, uh, they are, you know, prototypes. So let, let's, let's start. So we're going to do this without using any JavaScript framework. It's all going to be just raw uh, JavaScript. So does that sound good? Let's try. So now it's one thirty-five. Let's try this for I think twenty minutes or thirty minutes. Uh, I'm not sure I can do it, but I'll give it a shot. So one twenty-five, one thirty-five right now at uh, two two o'clock. So okay, so we're gonna write the JavaScript. So what we're gonna do? Um, let's see. Um, let's see where we want to start. Okay, let's just start the HTML file then. Okay, let's create um, the new file. 
save it as um, test one HTML. So let's okay. Let's say test one. So there is our HTML file. Copy the path. Close it. Okay, I'll close it, put it here. Um, well, let's give it a title. Um, so test one, close, link to it. So there it, it, there it is, test one. So we're gonna here and uh, you're gonna start a JavaScript page. So let's go to the directory, copy it. Uh, well, actually, it's just uh, create a new file, name it JavaScript, and link it. Now the file is empty, of course. Create yes, empty, uh, and we're gonna. Just um, save, close, show in browser. Uh, it's empty, and we can say, for example, and close it. Show this in Safari, and show it um, the debugger. Yeah. I don't want to come. Wait, why is that? Okay. Control Shift I launches Chrome for some reason. That's not what we want. So it's, I mean, Command Shift I launches Chrome. It should be Command. Option I. Okay, so you can see the output high there is the um, is the output. So we're gonna write some JavaScript right here, and the uh, to plot a curve. F first of all, um, so how is it done? You know, uh, okay, so to plot we're gonna use SVG so if you don't know SVG let me show you uh, what are we doing how we gonna create uh, the curves how we gonna plot graphics in with JavaScript uh, there are two ways um, let's go to actually let's go to Safari So there are two ways to create uh, graphics in JavaScript. One is SVG, the other one is Canvas. And you can um, you can read my blog. You can just search Xardi Canvas versus S SVG. Let's see, SVG JavaScript. So there it is. There it is. My website. You can you can. You can go to it. SVG. That's my SVG tutorial. Now close that. Uh, we are just going to use local my local files. So there are two ways: SVG and Canvas. Now Canvas is basically bitmap. Uh, basically, you creating a bitmap image. Um, and we're gonna use SVG because SVG is more suitable. Uh, because SVG is basically vector graphics, meaning that instead of you know pixels, you know you create pixels for each um, uh, you know the window uh, viewport. You actually draw lines, like you specify line from what point to what point. But let me show you; it's very simple. SV, uh, 
you know SVG basics. So SVG, so SVG is just XML. So this is X SVG. This is the source code. You can see. Let's copy. So if we copy that, go here, close that, close that. Now this, remember, this is our, uh, you know, HTML basic HTML page. Now we just paste that. Now look, look at this. This is SVG tag. It says width and height, and then uh, close it here. Then you have this part. This this part is just a line. It says a line x1 uh, y1. That's the starting point, and x2 y2. That's the end point. And if we show uh, and style black, if we show in browser, you can see it creates a line. So so this is what SVG is. I mean that's that's basically that's all there it is to SVG. Of course it's you know you got uh, that that I mean that's the the structure as, as of SVG. So all you have to do is just to create uh, these tags SVG tags with their coordinates to create to draw things. And uh, you can. Um, Let's go back to Safari. So you know you can draw a line. Uh, basically, you ha you have uh, several elements. You can draw a rectangle using the rect uh, element, uh, and you can specify round corners, circle, ellipse, and polygon. Um, and it gets more complex. But basically, that's um, that's a basic. You just the basic, the basic is just to create the SVG tag with different elements. It's just like a, uh, HTML. So, uh, for example, here's a clock. Um, yeah. So, so we're gonna draw a. Um, we're going to draw a curve. What curve to draw? Let's see. Let's say. Let's draw a beautiful one. Let's. Try that, shall we? This is uh, beautiful. This is this is uh, usually known as spiral graph. One forty-four. Okay, we out of time. Um, yeah. So you see, you can see how they are generated by rolling circles on another. Um, yeah, we can try this. We can try to draw that. Okay. So let's let's start then. Close this console. Um. So close that. So we're gonna start drawing SVG. Okay. First of all, we need uh, a type element to place our SVG. So let's just give it a uh, random number here. So here, and we're gonna add some CSS style. Um. Let's say border. Solid, solid thing. Red. Okay. Switch to HTML mod. Uh, didn't work because yeah, yeah the class. Uh, didn't work because we don't have things there. Okay, that didn't work because class border solid thing O oh. red not grid. There it is. Um, and we're gonna say we're gonna put. Uh, let's just start. Okay, so that's the dive. So first of all. In our JavaScript, we're gonna insert a SVG tag. How do you do that? Let's go back to our SVG reference. Uh, SVG basics. So we're gonna insert a tag. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so there it is. Here is okay. Yeah, that's how we wanna do it. Mm, we can just copy these. Mm, no, let's not. 
let's do it one by one copy okay we got 15 more minutes I don't think I can make it so create SVG element so um, yeah remove that save view viewing safari okay uh, okay we got that and uh, we want to okay we have a SVG element you can see by control opt I script dive oh yeah we created an element but we didn't insert it uh, this is this is you know it's quite painful <laughs> actually <laughs> to work with um, uh, I don't remember how to insert it yeah, practically uh, JavaScript in depth doom uh, change element well oh, actually what we want to do is to get element by ID uh, and uh, a pen child I think let's just try it a pen child so X X a pen child SVG one. So we basically add in the SVG element to to the anchor to this to here. So save it. I think I need a document there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um Yep. That's what we need. Save. No is not an object. Evaluating X of in child. X get element by ID of in child type error no is not an app object what okay some syntax with a pen child I think I haven't coded JavaScript for like four months or so so um, JavaScript is pretty painful it's it's the worst thing I think it's the worst language the way you work with JavaScript on the web page um, of, of all the languages I know for example compared to Perl, Python, PHP, Ruby, Golan um, I would say JavaScript is the worst um, not just the language but also the DOM the way DOM works and uh, um, it's extremely bad so anyway so let's so what we want to do now is to um, create insert in, um, uh, yeah we should use this insert adjacent element that's better than a pen child actually but um, event targets
so that should work that should work document get element by id and uh, why is it not working oh this is id not class you, you need to um, id save it now let's see reload there it is <laughs> now let's put a circle there shall we let's put a circle um okay what is what is the syntax for circle the element we want to go to SVG reference now circle is SVG basics yeah the, the thing could be very painful but the thing is we're gonna write the library you know to make it everything simple so we want to create a tag like that so there are you know there are a few ways to do that actually um, one way the easiest way is in just use inner HTML um, let's see but well the more proper way is to actually create this tag and append it like like the way we did with the SVG tag but it's more cumbersome uh, let's just do that S circle create element that and uh, we want to create circle element then we want to set attribute Okay, CRC set attribute. That's right. Set attribute. We want to set CY to, let's just say 50. Oh, yeah, I remember how painful it is in um, CXCY. CX CY. How painful it is. But of course, you can use libraries, um, but they are. They are pretty much a mess as well. You know, in JavaScript, the community, the way you do things, you load a hundred libraries. Nobody has no idea. Like, it becomes, the programming becomes, you don't have any idea what the libraries do. You just load hundreds, uh, you know, a hundred something. A typical project will need a hundred libraries. You know, like, you load ten libraries and each one loads ten other libraries. Um, and you really don't like even five lines is libraries you know most programmers have no idea how to do things raw but well I, I, I so you know that's why we are doing it you know I just want to show you how to do it um, so this is how anyway so CX CY let's say 50 and R so we are adding this attribute of course I mean I'm showing the most basic way now once you have this you start to write a function you know you start to write a function such that um, for example arrow function create circle then you just um, for example x y radius you know x and y is a coordinate and radius then you just output a circle um, you know I have written a library already. Um, it's it's this one. Uh, it's actually written in TypeScript. But uh, well, yeah. Let's look at TypeScript. So um, so far, it's you know a few hundred lines, uh, five hundred lines, and here is the generated JavaScript. So, you know, for example, to create SVG, let's search for SVG. Um, there it is. You use this function, fcreate uh, SVG, 
then you just um, Oh, this is JavaScript. <laughs> JavaScript, you know, yeah, so JavaScript, you have to compile it, you know, because we are using TypeScript. Create SVG, here's our function. Uh, yeah, here's a function, create SVG, and here are the pra parameters, you know. Um, the parent is the element you want to attach it to. Uh, width and height is the... Um, Oh yeah, that's the SVG element. So this function basically does these and these. Um, yeah, let's put it together. So that function basically does these these um, these three lines. And let's say a circle. So here's a, a create SVG circle. You know, you just give it x and y and uh, a radius and uh, uh, an element to attach it to but we are good we are going to do a row one so so cy so set attribute so now after we set the attribute then we uh, oh we have to set the style okay let's let's do that Set the style. Let's just say that. Uh, feel yellow, stroke blue, stroke width five. Then we gonna attach it to the SVG. So so it's gonna be a pen child SVG one a pen child suck. Now let's hope it works. Let's go to um there it is <laughs> okay actually um we i can't you know i cannot finish the uh so the plan the plan is we're gonna draw these <laughs> <laughs> But the reality is, is the product. Okay, um, should I continue? Um, I'm wondering, should I continue? Yeah, actually, if I continue and for another 30 minutes, I'm not sure I can um, finish it. You know, let, this seems complicated, but actually it's not that complicated. I, um, let me show you uh, one. So these are all variations. They just differ, they differ by parameter. Um, but basically they are parametric plot. So here's a formula. You can plot them. You know, just um, parametric plot. Um, yeah, so to to write them to um to show them, do we? Yeah, we. I, I, yeah, it could be possible. We could finish in thirty another thirty minutes, but it may not. Um, because it's not actually not that complicated. Um, well, let's well, uh, yeah, let's stop it now because right now, I mean, it's it's simple. You get the idea of how to do things, um, and that serves a purpose. And maybe ne in next video, we'll do that. So let me know if you like to see that in in the video. You know, next uh, next week or you know next few days. Uh, let me know in comments if you like to see that. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. That's it for today. Bye.